Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. For today's recipe, I'm gonna make this delicious pork barbecue in the oven, guys. This is another easier recipe, yet it is so delicious and you guys gonna love this recipe. It's super easy to make and very affordable. So these are all the ingredients that we are going to use. We have salt. There you go, that's the salt, ground black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, ground paprika, yellow mustard, ketchup, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. And this is our pork use pear ribs. So we're not gonna cook this all because this is a lot. This is two pieces in one bag. So we're just gonna cook one. We're gonna wash our meat first. I wash my sink guys before I do this so our sink is clean and we will wash our meat in here oh my gosh this is super heavy guys this is a really big piece of the ribs that's why I'm just making one I'm just gonna wash it really good rub it good And then on the other side also. All right, so there you go, that's perfect. We're done washing our pork spare ribs, there you go. All right, so our meat is clean, now we're gonna season it. I'm gonna put a good amount of salt, not too much though. And then ground black pepper. Let's put a good amount of ground black pepper. And then paprika. I love paprika, guys. So let's put a lot. And then onion powder and garlic powder. All right, that's perfect. And then let's give it a good rub. So it will be seasoned evenly. You gonna make sure we rub it really, really good, guys. And then I'm gonna marinate this overnight. All right, so let's turn it over and then we will do the same. We're gonna put all the seasonings that we use on the other side. Salt, ground black pepper. And there you go. And then paprika. I love the paprika because it will give it a smoky taste and I love it. And then garlic powder. There you go. And then onion powder. All right. So there you go. That's perfect. And then let's give it a good rub also. Let's rub it really good. So it will be seasoned evenly. Guys, if you are watching this far, please consider us to like and subscribe and click that bell button so you will be notified every time I have a new upload and also comment down below so I know you are there watching. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. As we done seasoning our meat, now I'm gonna cover it with foil we're gonna cover this up really good because we will refrigerate this overnight or if you don't have that much time you can marinate it for three hours that would be good so at this point i'm gonna refrigerate this so let's put it in the fridge and we will get back into it tomorrow guys so see you tomorrow i'm sorry with my messy fridge guys so there you go let's get back into it tomorrow all right so after 24 hours guys let's take it out so let's take this baby out in here and then let's take a look of it guys wow it smells so good guys so this is our pork ribs i'm just gonna turn this over we're gonna make sure when we cook it the other side will facing on the other side we're gonna let it cool down on our room temperature for about 30 minutes before cooking it i'm gonna make my own barbecue sauce 
about 1 fourth cup of soy sauce and then 1 fourth cup of oyster sauce and then about 2 tablespoon of mustard and then about 1 fourth cup of ketchup and then ground black pepper paprika garlic powder onion powder and let's give it a good mix we're gonna make sure we mix it really good until all the ingredients are well combined and then i'm gonna add brown sugar if you want to use white sugar you can use that one too but i like mine brown sugar all right so let's mix it really good okay i'm gonna taste it okay it tastes perfect guys it tastes so good okay so we're done with that it's been 30 minutes so i'm gonna put the cover back on this is ready for cooking guys i'm using the same foil that we used before guys so we don't have to waste it it's not dirty so we have to reuse it so make sure it is well covered all right so that's perfect now i'm gonna turn on the oven i'm gonna turn it on to 380 fahrenheit there you go and let's turn it on all right so here it is guys the oven is ready now let's put this in so let's cook it so we're gonna be cooking this for hour and a half guys so let's get back into it after an hour and a half all right so at this point while we are waiting for our barbecue i'm gonna cook the barbecue sauce so we just gonna cook it for about maybe 10 minutes so we will be keep mixing this guys until it is cooked so we have to keep it on eye otherwise it's gonna get burned so we have to keep mixing it it smells so delicious guys i love this sauce i always make my own barbecue sauce guys but you can always buy barbecue sauce in the store but i am more prepared to make my own barbecue sauce because it's really good you guys have to try this one it is really delicious okay so i'm gonna taste it all right so it tastes perfect guys always taste because we have different taste buds so always taste your your food or our barbecue sauce is done and after an hour and a half our barbecue is ready guys so let's take this out oh my gosh it's super heavy okay so there it is oh my goodness it smells so good guys i'm gonna check it okay it's very tender look at that it's super tender now guys so at this point i'm gonna turn it over and then i'm gonna put barbecue sauce on the other side first so let's turn this over oh my goodness this is super heavy guys okay so let's put a good amount of barbecue sauce and then let's rub it wow this is it smells so delicious guys i'm telling you guys you guys gonna love this barbecue okay i'm gonna put it back in the oven and then we will cook it for 15 minutes so let's get back into it after 15 minutes all right after 15 minutes here it is let's take this out again oh it smells so good there you go i'm gonna put more barbecue sauce guys so let's put more barbecue sauce there you go and then let's rub it oh this is so yummy guys it make me super hungry all right so there you go and then we're gonna turn it over and then we will pour barbecue sauce on the other side oh my gosh this is super hot and very heavy 
So there you go. Okay, let's put a good amount of barbecue sauce and let's rub it just like that. Oh, this makes me super hungry. And then we're gonna put it back in the oven and we will cook it for another 15 minutes and covered. Alright, so here it is after 15 minutes guys. This is done. Our barbecue is done. I'm gonna let it cool down 14 minutes before we chop this up. That way we won't lose the juices. After 10 minutes, this is the perfect time to chop up our barbecue. Wow, this is super heavy. We're gonna be big careful. We're gonna make sure we won't break it. So there you go. We make it guys. All right, so we're gonna chop this up. I'm gonna put more barbecue sauce, guys. There you go. More barbecue sauce to make it more delicious. And let's rub it. Oh my gosh, this is making me super hungry. I can't wait. This is gonna be so delicious, guys. I'm telling you guys, you guys have to try this recipe. It's so yummy. And very easy to make so let's chop this up I'm gonna cut it into half first look at that guys look how juicy it is so juicy and smells so good I can't wait to taste so let's chop this up it smells so good you guys have to try this one for sure your loved ones gonna love this barbecue i promise you guys i'm not gonna disappoint you with this recipe yes it is so good it, this is so delicious all right guys this is it now i'm gonna do the taste test look at that guys look how juicy it is so juicy let's do the taste test look at that look how tender it is guys now i'm gonna take my first bite cheers mm, my god mm, mm, mm. wow oh my goodness guys i'm telling you this is so delicious melt in my mouth it's so good okay guys i'm gonna end this video now thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell button so you will be notified every time i have a new upload thank you so much i really appreciate you all bye for now